Satoshi Hijiyama, the story of. Asami Tokisaka Shrine, 1944. I must have missed the years. Looks like they're starting to panic down there. Previous. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. Actually, probably really important that I know the years. Look. That's weird. Someone changed the shifter's access key, huh? Wait, this said 1944, it right? Matters. What? What? Carry yourself. Huh? So you came after me, Hijiyama Kun. This has to be some misunderstanding. You can't be a spy, can you? Hmm. Sounds like the professor, all right. Why did you run off? The military's looking for you. They think you stole some kind of intel. But you're the professor's daughter. You can't be a spy. It doesn't make sense. Sorry to break it to you. I'm not his daughter. The real Kiriko Doji is still over in Tokyo. What? But the whole spy thing's kind of a stretch. I don't need to steal any secrets on the Sentinels. I'm the one who built them, after all. Okay, all right, questions. Is she serious? She says she built the Sentinel herself, but... Professor Doji led the Sentinel project for her efforts in the war. His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him, but what does it mean if this isn't her? If you're not the real Kiriko, then... then who are you? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Or maybe... This really isn't about who I am. Maybe it's just about what you feel towards me. I, uh, <sighs> I'm not sure I believe this. You built them? Yeah, that was me. I drew up the designs in an editor. Then I just had to send the order into an automated factory. But that's... No, you're probably just confused. That's all. I even implanted the linking component into your head. Though you wouldn't remember, of course. Anesthesia and all. When you came to the factory, you said you were there on behalf of the professor. It was as good a cover story as any. You're kind of a simple guy. There's something about you, though. What are you even saying? I'm saying... I'm gonna miss you. But my key just finished decrypting. <gasps> so, that's it. This is goodbye. What the... <clears throat> Kiriko-san? She vanished? That's impossible. What? It was barely a moment. She can't have had time to run into the mountains. But where did Kiriko-san go? What? Very confused. Oh, someone's coming. He's the one who snuck into the factory. There's something fishy about him. But if he's working with her, then he might know where she's gone. I'll hide behind a tree and see what he's up to. Tokisaka Shrine, huh? Oh. If this log is right, Okino just crossed over. Might still catch up if I'm fast. Coordinates read Sector 4 in the year 1984. Give it up. There's nowhere to run. Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project for her efforts in the war. His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him, but what does it mean if this... You know Kiriko Doji? Yeah. I knew it. Though that wasn't actually her, of course. Is that really true? 
She said something along those lines, too. She, huh? Must have been pretty convincing, then. His real name is Sukasa Okino. He wears that stuff for his own reasons. But don't joke about that! You're just trying to confuse me! This can't be true, can it? Was the Kiriko Doji I knew really a man? This Tsukasa Okino? I should I feel like I should know Hijiyama. So you're the spy. That name. But there's no escaping me now. <sighs> what are you doing here? If I told you you'd laugh in my face. Answer me, or I'll do more than laugh at you. I'm going to time travel to another era. <laughs> Is that a joke? Or are you just insane? <sighs> He's just playing games with me. Time travel? Really? This is reality, not some penny dreadful. You're going to time travel, huh? Try a better story next time. This Kiriko Doji of yours? He did it himself just moments ago. Escaped from here into the future. I'm not falling for your lies. I mean, Darkness. you just watched it, dude. Step back. I'm going after him. Well... So you do know where she went. Where? Show me. You don't want to get caught in this shift. 1984. Distance. Right, your time travel. I'd like to see you try it. Don't say I didn't warn you. And away we go. Sunset. Kaede River. Riverbed. <laughs> 1985. Don't think he ain't gonna show. He knows you'd beat his ass watching my son. Probably shitting his pants right now. Turned tail and ran, huh? Guess he didn't have the balls after all. Whoa, hold it. What? Noodles stir fried in sauce and folded in sweetened bread. I don't trust much in this post-war world, but if there's one exception, it's my yakisoba pan. You know, no, I, okay, all right, okay, okay. So, I understand that the Japanese word for bread is pan. One of my favorite animes is a pun on that. But in this instance, in this instance, they could have just called it yakisoba bread. Like, they didn't... Ugh, I punched the microphone, I'm sorry. They could have just called it yakisoba bread. It would have made um, a lot more sense. I digress. Don't give me that shit. Nearly knocked my friggin' arm out of its socket. Oh, no, I don't. You wanna apologize? No. Oh, did I hit you? Sorry about that. You're sorry? Sorry don't pay my goddamn hospital bills. So? I don't have money, if that's what you're after. Don't. Wait, Wajima-san. I heard about him. People been talking about this guy. He's the one who's been snatching all the jackets. The hell? Wait. Yeah. This guy's wearing one of our uniforms. Oh, so you know the guy who owned this. I don't have any relatives around. I'm basically homeless at the moment. So the clothes and the cash were a really big help. He was a generous guy. Tell him I said thanks. Take care. <clears throat> hey, don't you walk away. Come on. <sighs> My food. My yakisoba pond. I didn't even get a single bite. You just made a big mistake, punk. You got a problem with me, buddy? You're the one who's about to have a problem. You heard him, boys. Sick him. <laughs> oh, I don't get to do this? That's a punch. Stop! 
We're sorry! <laughs> Look, we'll get you another snack, man. I've got no mercy for people who waste food. Especially Yaki Soba Pond. <laughs> the hell happened? I thought you called me up for a fight, Wajima. Someone want to tell me what I missed here? And who are you? A friend of theirs? I'm Nenji Ogata from Sakura High. I didn't ask you to fight my battles, pal. Wait, it's you. You're that jacket snatcher. Uh, Hijiyama or something. Takatoshi Hijiyama. At your service. I told them I didn't need the help, but they wouldn't take no for an answer. Yeah, I'll bet. Drop the tough guy act already. I could say the same thing. Don't go picking fights you can't win. I've heard enough, douchebag. And you owe me a fight. Come at me. Well, you're gonna regret it. <gasps> what? Well, look at this. I guess you fit right in here in the 80s. Here, I figured I'd have to check up on you. What? I know that voice. And that face. Wait! Oh, no. I came for a fight, and I'm getting one. Out of my way, damn it! Before dawn. Garomocho, abandoned gone. factory. This is about where I last saw him. He has to be close by. That bastard kicked like a horse. Pretty tough for a thug. He almost had me for a moment there. You found me. Kiriko-san. Were you looking for me all night? Still as reckless as ever, huh? <clears throat> Don't try to talk around it. I... I know who you are under those clothes. I figured you'd be here soon, so... Got some breakfast for you, too. Half a year I've been searching for you. Half a year thinking of what I'd say to your face. I got you some yakisoba pon. You didn't get any yesterday. Right? Half a year of saying thank you for got getting me yakisoba pon for me. Hey, look, that, that's not the point. <laughs> Take me back to my own time. We're going, whether you like it or not. And if I say no, what'll you do? Push me over? Pin me down? I would never. Besides, you're a man, aren't you? Why don't you find out? Uh... Kiriko Doji, Tsukasa Okino. This can't be true. Was the Kiriko Doji I knew really a man? This Tsukasa Okino? Kiriko Professor Doji. Doji led the center of his daughter, Kiriko. What does it mean? Okay. Why disguise yourself as Kiriko-san? Even convincing everyone you were a girl. Professor Doji thought it'd be a good idea. See, he's... Well, all Shikishima's tech really began with him. Shikishima made incredible strides after the war. And a lot of that was thanks to his work. Though it didn't hurt that I taught him about his future's technology. But why? Why would you make that deal with him? For the Sentinel. Is she serious? 
She says she built the Sentinel herself, but... So you're actually Tsukasa Okino. Why do you wear women's clothes? Doesn't feel great to hear you say it like that. You weren't complaining when you confessed to me. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not exactly the picture of masculinity anyway. Better than trying to pass as some militant with a buzz cut. So why are you dressed like that now? Because I know you like it. Oh, snap. You're a funny guy, Hijiyama-kun. <clears throat> let's say some binaries work for me and others don't. This lets me hide the fact that I'm even alive. Why would you want to hide the fact that you're even alive? That's so interesting. So what did you plan to do with the Sentinel? It was an accident that it showed up at all. It was never meant to be there. I mean, come on. You've seen it. You think they the can microphone is, back okay. in the 1940s? Even here in the 80s, it's out of our league. That's not human craftsmanship. It was made in the future, in an automated factory. Let me put it in layman's terms. There was an incident, and it got broken. Our goal was to fix it there so it could fight again. But wasn't it meant to be used against the USA? Uh... Then who okay. or what was it made to fight? Never mind. I have to get back. Oh, that's right. He comes from a... If we can finish the Sentinel project, we can win the war. A period of time that is a good guy, steeped in war. Kind of an open book. You know that? Say whatever you want. I don't care who you really are anymore. Just get me home. I know about the air raids. And Okinawa. Hiroshima. Nagasaki. I can't just let those attacks happen. I can't let those people die. Hmm, interesting. So you did some reading in the history section. Between all the manual labor you've been doing, and your living conditions, or, well, lack thereof, you're a lot more determined than I expected. You've been keeping tabs on me. I do have one suggestion. There's something I still need to do. And that something is here in 1985. I just need you to wait until that's finished. Actually, I'd really appreciate your help with it. It does involve you, after all. When it's finally all over, then... You can ask me to do whatever you want. How's that sound? Anything I want? No, I... What I want is to go back to my own time. If you're sure. Still, think it over. My base is over there on the second floor. Where are you going? I'm wearing the uniform. Where do you think? Oh, right. Your yakisoba pawns on the desk inside. <sighs> wow, was that your stomach? You haven't eaten anything since yesterday, huh? Sounded like a really bad fart. Go ahead. The door's unlocked. Eat it. Noodles stir fried in sauce and folded in sweetened bread. I don't trust much in this post war, but if there's one except. Where'd he go now? Maybe he really was just manipulating me. Well, it is yakisoba pan. Not much I could do. Well, as long as I've got. <clears throat> So good. The sauce is so sweet yet so spicy. Mm. I hit the spot. If he's in that uniform, he's probably going to school. But what's he trying to accomplish there? For now, I should find Okino again. It won't do me any good if he slips away. Just wait. So this is his... check my old school.
Just wait here. He said it was... Whatever. Whatever. So three. The Sentinels are incredible weapons. If we could deploy them in the mainland war, they could instantly turn the tide. That war has been over for decades, Hijiyama kun You can stop worrying about it. We will never stop until our foes lie dead. I'm not about to forget my duty, Yokino. Where to next? Don't get ahead of yourself. We're not done here. Reinforcements. I see kaiju gathering from across the whole city. I'll release some more drones to expand our search range. Good. Leave the fisticuffs to me. What I'm worried about is the G-molars in the back. You see them? G-molar? Is that what you call the big round ones? No, G-molar. As in, with the letter G? It stands for... You know what? Never mind. A G-molar is a dimos built for excavation. It uses the spinning blades on its back to dig into the ground. They need to bore a path to the terminal. It's the core of their strategy. And we need to stop them. A slow poke like that? All I need is one strike to take that one out. They can withstand intensely high pressures and break through any rock. If you underestimate it, you're the one who's going to get taken out. Is that where they're headed? Oh, they're around the terminal already? That's the point closest from the surface to the terminal. Son of a bitch. But your sentinel's a first gen, which means more mobility. That'll come in handy here. Can you take out some kaiju on your way there? I don't have much choice. We're going in. Retreat it. Destroy all kaiju. Terminal's destroyed. Okay. Using powerful armaments will consume energy. EP is gradually replenished by defeating enemies, but you can replenish it faster by using defend. When you use defend, which charges EP, you'll be unable to move temporarily. Make use of it strategically. Try using the, the armament leap attack, which consumes EP. The practice round's over. They're finished. A fight hit. Oh, that was kind of sick. <laughs> That was kind of sick. Now you what next? Take this. Yes. Enemy <laughs> an easy to enemy threat range. Let's see. A fine hit. Bow down. I swear. So I will make them pay. Destroyed. The practice round's over. Command them yourself. 
let the terminal attack the kaiju directly. We can make the saucer itself attack them? Let's give this one a shot. This phase plasma EMP. Meta skills. By gathering meta chips from defeating enemies, your meta gauge in the bottom left of the screen, oh, that thing that just showed up, will increase. You can use meta skills when the meta gauge is filled up. Open the menu with triangle. Use the meta skill Phase Plasma EMP. Okay, that was kind of sick. What did you just do? The terminal forced a shutdown of designated targets within range. That was amazing. Let's fire off some more of those. Don't know if we can do that, but we have a couple other tricks up our sleeve. Let me take a look. The only meta skill you can currently use in battle is Phase Plasma EMP, and you can only use it once. Once terminal enhancements are available, you'll be able to unlock and enhance various skills. You can also increase the number of uses. Okay. Unbelievable! I'm acting like an amateur. Number twelve, moving out. I guess life comes at you fast. Okay. Aegis activation confirmed. All the hostiles in range destroyed themselves. Like magic. If we had that kind of weaponry, you should have told me. Why bother with the Sentinels when we have this? It takes time to activate. And if we get taken out before it's ready, then it's all over. It means the terminal would be fully locked down. Nobody could ever open it again. Is that... A bad thing? This is Renya Gotau. You were one of the compatible pilots from Sector 5. Who are you communicating with? I'd really rather not deal with this. Don't tell him, Hijiyama-kun. No one. I'm fighting solo. Sentinel signals detected. Sentinels are being activated in another location. Number 17 and number 19. Just how many Sentinels are online now? So we made it through. Okay, so. I'm very confused as to what is going on. Um. Very confused. Right. Oh shit, I wanted to save. Break time, 1985, Sakura High School, new building hallway. Minami-san. Nachan. What are you guys talking about so seriously over here? N nothing really. Just talking about what our dreams were last night. Oh yeah, that video you asked for the other day. I was just about to bring it to you. No way! I love how this guy's just got VHS tapes just... This is it! Thanks a bunch! ...on his person at all times. super bummed, you know. I couldn't record last week's UFO Mysteries. That baseball game was going on for freaking ever. A special series airing on TV. All about the latest UFO discoveries. I'm so glad I got a recording of it. I haven't watched the video you lent me yesterday yet. Come on! You gotta watch EXT! It's a classic! I saw it in the theater three times at least. You can't talk about aliens without seeing that movie. 
I don't really intend on talking about aliens anyway. <laughs> Thanks for recording this. No problem. An alien stranded on Earth establishes a bond with a young boy in this sci-fi movie. Oh, it's e. a real 1982 okay. classic. Bet you're thinking, here she goes about those UFOs again. <laughs> no, not at all. Bet you're thinking, no. You'd be the same if you watched this. They're already here on Earth, you know. Yeah, they look like octopuses and want to destroy us all, right? No, no, no. You've got it all wrong. That's from a book. Is that a reference to the what? War of the Worlds. Oh, okay. Which in itself referenced War of the Worlds, yeah. There's no okay. stopping you once you get going on this stuff. Just watch. One of these days, I'll work for NASA. I was thinking of uh, Watchmen. Find a real alien. Wait, the War of the Worlds was added. Grades in science, then. Oh man, you're right. A classic sci-fi novel by that one famous writer. It features Martians that look like octopuses. They have three-legged weapons called tripods, and use them to invade the Earth. I'll get this back to you soon. Take your time. See you guys. Bye. See you later. Fuyasaka-san, hmm. we have to go to the audio-visual room. <laughs> oh, so that's stoked. Right. Everyone's already gonna there. I'm gonna pop in my headphones, I just gotta get my turn stuff. off all the lights. Not on. Yuki-chan! Huh. You still haven't gotten your new uniform yet? Oh. Yeah, who the hell knows. But never mind that. What are you smiling about? Something good on that videotape? Oh, this? <laughs> okay, okay. It's a recording of a TV show on UFOs. A friend let me borrow it. <laughs> that explains it. Glad to see Dr. Space is still alive and well. I'm weird, aren't I? Of course not. It makes me happy, actually. To know you're still my notch on. <laughs> but maybe don't call me Dr. Space anymore. We've outgrown our kid nicknames, don't you think? Nope. Whatever you say. Well, if it isn't Takamiya. Oh, Gata. So that Kuri gang you beat up, they're hanging around our school now. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> what are you, my mom? Huh? I'm no damsel in distress. I can take care of my own shit. So beat it, pinhead. What did you say to me? Oh yeah, she's awesome. I like her. Okay, chill out, Ogata-kun. You don't need to start a fight in the middle of the hallway. I didn't start anything. She's the one walking around here like she owns the place. Come on, you too, Yuki-chan. <laughs> Fine. Sorry, Nachan. <laughs> what the? Well, that was anticlimactic. Yuki-chan. <laughs> Don't worry. That stuff happens all the time to me. Oh, by the way, can I come watch you practice again today? Sure. How many characters am I gonna get? I really hope it's not 13. See you soon. Shit, it's gonna be 13, isn't it? Hold on, let me look at the cover of this game real fast. Shit, it's gonna be 13 people. That's fun. I mean, it makes sense. It's in the title of the game. <laughs> that running animation is really good. Oh, not yet. Hold on. Let me see if there's anything else I can interact with here. So that's my class. Okay. Running animation looks really good. The walking animation's fine too, but I like the running animation.
After school. Sakura High School Athletics Building. Fast as ever, not to know. <laughs> Get a better time today? Oh. Well, it was kinda windy today. Running against it and all. You know how it is. <laughs> hey, first year. What's up, Senpai? Me and the manager have to go and talk to the teacher. There's things to discuss about the next meet. Sorry, but could you handle the cleanup today? Okay. Huh? Where did everybody go? Am I the only one still here? Hmm? Another suspicious looking man. I saw a couple of them in the schoolyard too. I wonder what they're doing here. Seems like they're looking for something. Hmm. Men dressed in black suits. <gasps> Wait a minute. Could they really be men in black? An organization that monitors alien activity. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe. There's a UFO that's landed near here. Okay. A lone no. alien left behind by a UFO. I do understand. Okay. Being pursued by relentless men in black. I forgot the. Its only hope is to be rescued by one um, chosen Earthling. The idea of men in black is be... old. Sheesh! Watch where you're going. He's handsome. Haven't seen that uniform before. Wonder what school he goes to. <sighs> I'd better hurry and get on with the cleanup. Don't want Senpai to get mad. Okay, let's do this. <sighs> Finally done. Secret agents rumored to deal in the extraordinary. And silencing those who witness UFOs. Oh man, I really I like this animation. Back. No one really knows much else. That scaling is interesting. Well, that looks weird. Oof. Uh, I'm too tired to change. Maybe I'll just go home in my gym clothes. Oh, I am pretty sweaty. Uh, what was that? Uh, something's in there. Uh, wait, Johnny number five? What if... He's alive. What's going on? What the? There a pervert in here? <laughs> Still totally dressed. Hey, what the heck? What are you doing barging into the girls' locker room? I heard you scream. I was just coming to help. Plus, all those creeps in black suits. Been seeing them everywhere. So uh, I thought. You're the only creep around here, you moron! Get out of here already! Damn, try to do something nice around here. Um, hey there. <laughs> this is wild. No way. It talks. Oh man. This is just like the movies. No way. An alien strength establishes a bond. It's a real night. An alien. Are you an alien from space? Oh my god. I'm the chosen one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Hey there, little guy. Oh, did I scare you? It's okay. I'm your friend. Hmm. Can you understand me? You and I are friends. I do like that the music changed too. It worked. It's Johnny number five. Stay calm. He's alive. It also looks like um the um little uh it all makes sense. robot that Otacon makes in Metal Gear Solid 4. Over campus? It's just like that one movie. They must be here to capture this alien. The thing they were looking for. This explains it. And that means I must protect him. Welcome to Earth. I can't believe this is really happening. My dream is finally coming true. B J B J BJ? Is that your name? My name is Natsuno. In a Lassiter code matched. Hmm? Huh? Natsuno. Yeah! That's me! Okay. His name is BJ. His mission was to protect Earth from other evil aliens. We don't know that. I don't, but is that a spacesuit you're wearing? Like, is your brain inside of a jar or something? Not to know. Me, memory cell. That's amazing, BJ. Where'd you learn how to speak my language? Go to gate. Gate? I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. But it's okay. I've seen the movie. You need to call your home planet, right? And then, a UFO is going to come and rescue you. Don't worry. I'm going to help you. Search gate. Wow. This technology is crazy. Hmm. Tori. You want to go there? I know exactly where that is. It's a shrine near school. Oh, wait! You can't just go walking out like that! The black suits would spot you in a second! The location BJ pointed out on the map. It's a shrine nearby the school. My PE bag. Yeah, this'll do the trick. bag given out by the school. It can fit more than it looks. Hmm. Maybe he can fit in here too. I don't know. He looks kind of like bigger than that bag. Just saying. Or not. Sorry about the tight fit. Nuh-uh. You gotta keep your head down. I'll get you to where you need to go. Just hang tight, okay? Tokisaka Shrine. Oh, hey. <sighs> okay. Doesn't seem like we were followed. This is it. Tokisaka Shrine. Is that place that... <clears throat> this place has been here forever. We went to in uh, 1944? A hiding place, too, now that I think about it. I mean, who would have thought somewhere like this was really a hub of extraterrestrial alien activity. Hmm. All right. We're here, BJ. Are these holograms? 
programs? Access code approved. I've never seen anything like this. Except in the freaking movies. She doesn't even realize. Wow. This is awesome, DJ. Oh man, you're really gonna... She didn't even realize. Oh. DJ, wait up! Don't leave me behind. What Jeez, is going this is on? Pretty crazy, even by dream standards. One second we're at the shrine, then we're surrounded by this weird light. Now we're in this place? What the heck happened to this city? It looks like there was a war. <sighs> There's more? The government has released a statement at 5.40 p.m. Japan time. Communications with major cities around the world have not yet been restored. It is likely that these cities have also come under attack by the same unknown enemy that has besieged Japan. Domestically, multiple locales are reporting serious damages. Currently, the unknown enemy has made landfall, swarming a large area across the bay. They are now thought to be headed in the direction of Kasumicho in Sakura Ward. That was news footage. Wait, no. That's near our school. Is this... Are we in my town? I need to know more. Would you like to know more? It's hard to see here, but we have to understand. What can only be described as monsters have descended upon our town. It's quite difficult to comprehend. I see five, six, seven. No, there's more every time I look. What are they? Some say we are finally witnessing a takeover of aliens from space. Could this really be the end of humanity? Will our species not live to see past 2064? You went out? They're nearly upon us. To all of you watching, good luck. 2064? We're in the future? 80 years to be exact. This can't be real. Can it? Hey, where are you going? What? What are those? Are those the kaiju? A monstrous tripod, higher than many houses, striding over the young pine trees and smashing them aside in its career. A walking engine of glittering metal, striding now across the heather. From the War of the Worlds. Oh, all right. I think I know what they are. Those things do have one extra leg, but they're just like the tripods. Weapons used by aliens to invade Earth. And now they're destroying my home. Is this really happening? Was Earth really attacked by aliens? Do they want to destroy humanity? BJ, why? Why did we come here? Search. Let me go. Yeah, I know, but what is that? You're looking for this? Sentinel. Sentinel number 17. That looks like a flippin' Transformer, man. Oh.
Okay. All right. This is getting weirder, man. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this, by the way. <laughs> this game is super good. <laughs> Maybe super good is not the right word. Anything I'm screwing up here? Doing just it's just not this game is You're a natural. very cool. This was his last gift to me. I gotta do this right so I don't let him down. Don't we have a bunch of bad guys everywhere already? Should we really be deployed all the way out here? Our sentinels were designed chiefly for long-range attacks. I was taught that my primary tactic should be long-distance annihilation. Never give them a chance to close in. So if they do get too close, that's bad news? Well, we've got electromagnetic battering ramps for both arms in case of close-quarters combat. But we can't let them surround us. I don't know if we could fight our way out of that. Okay, got it. Warning! Dymo signatures approaching. Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. They're coming. Miracle, they're coming! What do we do? Should we shoot? Stay calm, Natsuno-san. Get a clear look at the opposing forces. The enemy may have more numbers than us, but we can hit them all in one fell swoop. Miracle, I'm... I'm kinda shook up here. We'll be okay. We can use the electromagnetic rounds. Shake them up instead. Look, Miracoon! They're coming at us in one straight line! That's fortuitous. I'm in the perfect position. Pierce through packs of kaiju straight ahead with the main battery heavy railgun. Electromagnetic ground has the power of a salvo from 46 centimeter battleship mounted cannons. But a weapon that powerful comes with high energy costs and high risks to match. If you don't use it carefully, you might end up out of power at the worst possible moment. Uh, Roger that. <clears throat> Victory condition to destroy all kaiju. Loss is the terminal is destroyed. All right. Um. Gonna be okay. Let's move you. Number up here. They've got the sights on me. With an enemy threat range. Give up. How's that? I did it. Damn. Where are they? Second generation model Fu Fuyusaka pilots comes with support units, which are armaments that can be positioned. Oh, yeah, I, I used one of those in the first battle. 
Once positioned, each support unit automatically takes action until the enemies are destroyed. Select Fuyusaka soon with the D-pad and then enter the action menu and choose sentry gun. What now? I've gotta do this. Intercepting missiles. Certain enemies, like Twin Tails, attack from a distance using missiles. Missiles can be evaded by moving or intercepted with attacks. Deal with them in a way that best suits the situation. Stay calm. Remember your training. Number 19. Commence Come moving. Come on! Here and what do I do? I think that that particular fight gave me a better idea as to how the combat's going to flow in this. Uh, it's pretty quick, actually. Quicker than I expected. It's like a weird tower defense type thing, too, which signed me the hell up for it. Megumi Yakushiji. Her story is now available. So that this is this will be the fifth character. Does it I really wish I could like just switch to the other ones, but I don't think I can until after I've got everybody. Ooh, I got one mystery point. Nice. 